Hey Steamers fans, welcome into another episode of Steamer of the Week. I'm here with the man that probably could have been Steamer of the Week whenever he wanted, but he's here with me this week, Chase Bruno. Chase, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me here, man. It's, it's honestly an honor to be here today right now. Well, it's an honor to be sitting next to you. You're the guy that leads the team in hits, RBIs, extra base hits, batting average, everything pretty much offensively. And I want to talk to you about a little bit of comparisons for you and for the team. I'll start with you compared to last summer. You've already passed your RBI total from 2021. You're about to hit your hit total. You've raised your batting average on base percentage. What's changed for you, if anything? You know, I've changed a couple of things in my swing here and there. This past spring, I've worked on a lot of things. Last year, I was a little stiff, a little jerky with my swing. Kind of wanted to add a little bit of rhythm, a little uh, tempo kind of into my swing, keep the hands a little bit more calm, keep my hands inside the baseball a little bit. Just minor adjustments kind of from last summer. and. You know, I feel good right now with my swing, so hopefully I'll be able to keep it up. Yeah, and it's worked for you. You've got a hit in every single you. game so far this season. But now I want to look at the team. You guys are on a six-game winning streak right, right now. The longest streak you had last season was just three, and you're approaching the win total from last summer. What's Has anything changed with this team, and what's so good about this team? You know what? I mean, everybody's came out here every day and uh, proven themselves. That our pitchers are throwing a heck of a game and uh, play some good defense. Our bats, bats have been coming around here lately. You know, we got a six game win streak. Um, I mean, the chemistry is really there too, you know. Um, on our off days, we all get together, have a good time, you know. Last year we did the same thing, but I feel like it's a little bit different this year. I think we're a little bit more clicked together. And uh, I think that's what kind of gets us going on the field a little bit more than last year, I guess you could say. Yeah, and, and you said it, things are clicking on both right. sides. And for you, you're a returner, one of the 12 returners. A lot of guys coming back that much right. more experienced this team. I think that's a, that's part of it that was different from last year. We got a lot more returners. I mean, we know what to expect and kind of breed the new guys that came in for us this year. And usually if you're returning, something went well. So right. I want to see, do you have a favorite memory or moment in what's now your second year here in Edenton? You know what, I, I loved every every second of last, of last summer, you know. Um, but my probably favorite moment was when, when we went into – Peninsula, when we played the Peninsula Pilots one Friday night, uh, playing in front of a couple of thousand fans, you know, it was awesome, a great crowd and everything. We ended up beating them eight to one, actually. It was eight to zero going to the last one, but they have a solo shot. But you know what? That was probably the biggest team win where we really clicked everything together last year. Pitching, hitting, fielding, everything went well that game, and you know what? And we were all happy, excited, and you know what? It started rolling after that a little bit. But that's probably one of my favorite moments was that game right there, let alone just how we all came together kind of bond it really clicked as a team yeah but those are the ones that are really stick with exactly. you forever and sure something that seems to have been sticking with you i want to ask you about every time you're in the field over at short i see you bend down in between pitches pick up the dirt is that something you've always done is that a superstition like where does that come from it is kind of a superstition thing um you know what I, there's there's honestly a lot of rocks <laughs> on, on the dirt in our field here and to be honest, I feel like if I see one, I gotta pick it up. You know, so that's kind of my thing. It's always been, I've done it since I was I was really young. So that's funny that you noticed yeah. that. But yeah, so if I see a rock, I feel like I gotta pick it up and throw it out, you know? Hey, it's know. worked, it's worked. <laughs> You've been pretty solid over thank there. You, and thank you. Now the last one, I've asked everyone this. What's your favorite jersey to wear this season? My favorite jersey, oof. I can't I can't complain with the all whites. I really do like the all whites. I don't know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the, the vest. I'm wearing them yeah. tonight. The black on black with the teal uh, undershirt looks pretty clean to me, I think yeah. so. If you had to put one above the other, do you, do you have a favorite? I probably got to go, mm, I probably got to go vest on this yeah. one. Yeah, it's new this year, you know. Mm. We wore the whites last year, I really liked it, but I think the black kind of brings out some fire in us, you know. All right, that's three votes for the vest now out of four oh, steamer of the week, awesome. so you're in the majority. So we got we to gotta get it to where we can wear no undershirt on mm -hmm. there next Ten time. Ten game winning no, streak. That's right, that's more. all I got to do is get full more. <laughs> you see the guns out. <laughs> Well, Chase, this was a pleasure. Thank you so Thank much you for, for having today. me. Yes, sir. Thank yes, sir. You. Thank you to Chase Bruno for joining me today. This has been Steamer of the Week. Steamers on a six-game winning streak. Don't miss the game tonight against the Suffolk Voyagers. Yes, sir. Go Steamers. <laughs>